If you're concerned about your political survival, you should be concerned about the survival of our children. And guess what? I believe the price to be paid politically to those who refuse to act, who refuse to step forward. Because America has changed on this issue. You should all know the American people are with us. They should know. You all should know. There's a moral price to be paid for inaction. And ladies and gentlemen, the organized opposition, the same opposition that I've been involved with for 40 years of my career, and my law enforcement friends have been as well, they throw up, they've thrown up question after question. Not because they're looking for answers, but because they are, not because they're driven by facts, not because they're looking for a way forward, because they're looking for roadblocks. So every one of these chats I do on the internet, every one of these things I do on Facebook, it's amazing some of the questions that seep in. They say, all you're going to do, Biden, you and the president, you're going to deny law-abiding citizens their rights under the Second Amendment. Not true. They say assault weapons. They say assault weapons like the AR-15 are needed for self-protection and recreation. They are not. There's plenty of ways you can protect yourself and recreate without an AR-15. They say it isn't about guns. They're wrong. It is about guns. And let me say at the outset to all the press, no law-abiding citizen in the United States of America has any fear that their constitutional rights will be infringed in any way. None. Zero.